Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with another speed build and we're building another tiny house today because I've been getting an overwhelming amount of suggestions to do more tiny houses, more specific ones. And so I am building a roommate's tiny house and this is in the world of Strangerville because I'm gonna be building here a lot because I mean, it's new and I love new content and I've never built on any of these lots before. So we're gonna continue to go ahead and build on them. And I love how this one turned out. It's not really themed around Strangerville. It's just kind of here and it's very yellow. It's not quite as yellow as you see here. I do tone it down quite a bit, but I tried a bunch of funny colors because we got some updates to the base game for some of the swatches on some of the wallpapers. And so we have a brighter yellow and some just other brighter colors in general on this paneling. And I really wanted to use it as well as the new windows and doors that came with the pack. So I thought it would be nice to add a tiny house in this world because you know, it's perfect for a couple of roommates that are moving to Strangerville and this house is really cute. It's kind of quirky, but they have no idea what they're getting themselves into. Uh, so <laughs> I thought it was really fun. It does have two bedrooms and one bathroom and both bedrooms have a double bed in them that you can access both sides of. So this could actually have four Sims living in it if you wanted to, which is pretty good for a tiny home. And of course, this stretches the idea of a tiny home a little bit because the more sims you have that can sleep in this home, the larger it is. Uh, but this is a tiny home coming in at 51,000 simoleons. And it's relatively spacious, I think. But I still think it qualifies as a tiny home. I hope. <laughs> that was kind of the intention anyway. And I think this lot is 20 by 30. There is a 20 by 15 in this world, which you can see in the background uh, build I put out earlier this week. The little container house is back there. I love that lot. I really like this world. It's so pretty. And we already had a desert world, but like not like this. Like Oasis Springs is nothing compared to this world. I think this one's so pretty. And I understand like the gameplay in this might not be for everybody, but the world is gorgeous and these build and buy assets are beautiful. These windows, I love them. The doors, I love them. I just wish we got plants. Like I, I could have used some of the trees <laughs> that were in this world, uh, but unfortunately we don't have those. Uh, but I do really like what we did get and I would totally recommend this pack if you're into building. Um, for gameplay, if it's your type of gameplay, go for it. But there's a lot of really cool items with this pack and I really enjoyed it. And it was very kind of unexpected, I suppose. Uh, so I was really excited to get my hands on this one and I've been having a lot of fun building in it. Uh, but I think for the rest of this week, I don't think any of the other houses are going to be in Strangerville. I'm not sure because <laughs> I haven't done them yet. Uh, but I'm hoping to get my apartment build out this week maybe it's it looks so empty using real life items so we'll see because uh <laughs> in case you missed it or you're new here because the channel has grown so much recently thank you guys so much for all your support i just moved like last weekend <laughs> so i uh said i was going to build my new apartment in the sims but i haven't gotten around to it yet but i started it and it looks really empty and bad but <laughs> We'll see if I can fix it up and kind of decorate it to the way I want it to look and hopefully get that up later this week. But anyway, back to the build now. We're just going to figure out a floor plan and I did fix it up a couple different times because I had trouble figuring out the upstairs because I really wanted it to have two bedrooms. And at one point I had two bedrooms and a bathroom and they just weren't quite the size I wanted because I really wanted double beds. So I did go ahead and fiddle with the floor plan quite a bit and ended up getting what I needed to in the end. And here we are just working on the landscaping. It's kind of nice sometimes building in a different world and particularly a desert world like Strangerville or Oasis Springs because I get to use some plants that I don't typically use. I don't use cacti that often unless I'm building in the desert and having another desert world is really nice. I just wish we had some of the plants that, you know, are in the world, but you know, we can only do so much about that, which is not anything, but hopefully in the future we'll get more plants with some packs. That would be really nice. Uh, I would definitely like that, but I added a lot of plants to the exterior of this build, including this uh, statue or like wall of succulents that we got from Seasons. I thought it looked really nice. And like I said, this build doesn't like particularly have a ton of Strangerville stuff. I wanted to call it Stranger Things stuff. No, Strangerville's um, items in it. It has like 
one quirky thing in it, which I'll point out when we get to it. It's in the kitchen. Uh, but for the most part, it's just kind of a fun, colorful build for some roommates to move into. It's just a two bedroom house that I imagine, uh, you know, newcomers might come in and rent before uh, things happen in the town that I, I won't spoil. I actually haven't played through it at the time of recording this, uh, but hopefully I will soon. I'm hoping to get that out sometime this week. But here we are in the kitchen. I brought the yellow paneling onto the interior of the house from exterior, and I love these windows with like the white and the yellow. I think it was just so nice that we have so many bright colors now in the game. I love how the yellow looks in this world against like the bright reddish orange mountains. It just, it's so pretty, or like rocks, I guess? I don't know what you would call them, but they're, they're really pretty. Uh, but the one thing I do add on these shelves in here, which I should be adding shortly, is this little guy right here. He's like a little alien that we got with the new pack. And I was kind of thinking this item just happened to still be in the yard or in the house when they moved in. Like they hadn't moved in their stuff yet, but this was just there. I just thought that was kind of like a creepy like artifact of somebody that used to live here. I also just like that idea because when I was a kid and we moved into a childhood house, uh, when we my parents showed us the house like before, way before moving day, I think they had just closed on it or something. Uh, we were walking around the yard and I found this stuffed cat <laughs> and I kept her. All her stuffing was ripped out. She used to be like an electronic cat like that you like squeezed and it meowed or something. I have no idea, but she still had the wires in there, but like everything was missing and damaged and like all of her insides were gone. But my mom let me keep this cat that I found and I named her Sassy after the cat in Homeward Bound. Anyway, completely unrelated. <laughs> That's just kind of the thought process I had when I was putting that little alien creature here. I was just like, maybe it was there from the previous owner. It's like mysterious. How did they it get there? And so that's kind of why I added it. But this house is super yellow and blue because I think yellow and blue go very well together. And I struggled a little bit with picking some rugs and I swapped them out a bunch of different times. But I do end up using this rug from Get Famous and this other one from Seasons. I think that, that one's from Seasons, right? And uh, a tabletop from Parenthood as well as some base game chairs in yellow and blue. And I just, I love this color scheme. It's one of my favorites. I did it a couple weeks ago in that tiny jungle home I did because I just think it's such a pretty color scheme and uh, I was excited to go ahead and do it again and I thought this was just a very friendly inviting home for some people to move into and <laughs> that have no idea that there's something weird about this town you would think that you know the name of the town might give you an idea like what were you expecting when you moved into Strangerville I mean maybe they just were like oh you know you're a stranger until you get to know everybody not like there's creepy, weird people with their eyes wide open talking about mother and, oh, yes, I, I think in real life that would be a little bit scary. But anyway, we put the TV on a diagonal here and then I find the divider from Get Famous to go ahead and put it on. I thought that looked kind of cute in the corner and I put these two couches together that came with uh, laundry day. And then we added a desk over here, which is also from City Living and this new laptop that came with a stranger belt. I'm so excited to have laptops. I hope we get more in the future. I would assume we would also get laptops like different ones with like a university pack when we get one. Uh, that would make sense to me, but obviously I don't know. Uh, but it was cool to get them now because we've been wanting laptops in the game forever. But uh, we're just adding a little bit of color to the walls down here, a little bit of blue. And I think it just livens up the downstairs a little bit. Also, this door and the exterior door are so gorgeous. So pretty. I love all of the doors and windows that came with this pack. I'm just so in love with them. I'm sure I've already talked about that this week. But they are so pretty. I love the swatches. I love the shape. I'm going to be overusing these interior doors. Not in that yellow swatch. I feel like that was just for this house. But I feel like every build they do is just going to have those doors in them now because they are so pretty. I'm just very happy with the build and buy assets because in like the trailer and stuff, it didn't show any of these doors or windows. So I had no idea what we were getting. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy with what we've got. This window upstairs in this hallway area, like the big one on the front of the house, is gorgeous. Like, Oh my goodness, I couldn't have asked for a prettier window. I can't wait to continue to use these like build assets to build more things because they are just gorgeous. Um, and we're just adding some pictures going up the staircase here. Kind of tried to make it look like really friendly and have like a bunch of fun things around, a little bit eclectic. And uh, I just enjoyed it. So <laughs> we're in the bathroom now. I don't think this room's quite as bright as the rest of the house, but it's definitely bright. 
and I used this countertop or the sink, I suppose. It's not a countertop that came with Get Famous because I really, really like it. It's more of a like mid-century look to it, but I love that. And just adding a couple of things around like toilet paper, flowers, some toothbrushes. <laughs> this is the only bathroom in the house. So the bedrooms are upstairs and the bathroom's downstairs. But I think it's pretty good considering how big this tiny house is that like I was able to fit in a full bathroom, a table with that many chairs and, you know, two bedrooms that have full size beds in them. I think that's pretty good. I was I was really happy with that. And I mean, it's not the cheapest house, but, you know, it, it's it's somewhere in there. It's it's not like 100,000. It's it's like 50,000, right? It's not too bad, I hope, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys do like this build and you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. That information is also in the description down below as it is in every single video I post. Um, but anyway, we are onto the bedrooms now and I switch up the colors in both of these a bunch. One of them ends up staying yellow and blue, I believe. And the other one is like more brown and yellow if that makes sense. I just had fun with these color schemes and it was really nice to do something really bright for once because I tend to do way more neutrals and dark colors because that's my own personal style, but it's definitely nice to switch it up sometimes. So I was really excited that we got so many bright colors uh, on the swatches of some of these uh, build assets as well as the update to the base game wallpapers because I really needed to build a bright yellow house and I'm glad that I was able to without using custom content. Uh, but we're just adding uh, some more color to this room and then we'll be working on the other room. Like I said, I believe it's brown and yellow, which sounds weird, but like I feel like it's like a beigey color in like one yellow wall, which I thought looked really nice. And I was excited to use some of these, this orange, oh, orange and yellow? Oh yeah, it's like a beigey orange. I don't know. I, I knew it looked cute. I like how it looks and I think it's still really bright, but the walls are not too crazy. Uh, I enjoyed this build a lot and I hope you guys did like it too. If you did like this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that little bell, it'll turn on notifications. So you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. And also if you want to keep up to date with what's going on with me, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That is also linked down below. I'm very active on there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're coming to the end of the video. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you guys soon. Bye everybody.